dead stalk the streets of Sandport. The bloody trail leads to a pack of ravenous undead in the haunted halls of Foxglove Manor. Behind this bloody spree is the Skinsaw Manor, a ghoulish murderer backed by the merciless Skinsaw Cult, the same sinister allies who backed Nualia. Pursuing the fiends of the city of Magmar reveals the dark goals of these evil-minded fanatics and their mysterious leader, an angel hidden amid the dizzying heights of the towering shadow park. The dead are rising from their graves to terrorize the people of Sandport. Marks of their scuffling passage lead back to several ruins in the lonely sanatorium of Dr. Habe. Find out who's behind this foul necromancy and put an end to this sinister plot. <laughs> okay, everybody, so here we are on our first scenario of the Skinsaw Murders, and our first scenario is Dead Uprising. And during this, the villain we're looking for, can you pronounce that there? Kezarlu Zarin. Right, and I had a bit of a problem here because if you notice, there are more henchmen listed than there are locations with the villain open. So I decided that I guess I was leaving the zomb zombie minions out because I just went down the list. I wasn't really sure what to do. Um, but it does say also that during this scenario, when you defeat a zombie minion henchman from a location deck, randomly select an open and lo location and shuffle the zombie minion into that deck. So... All right, so we've got our four locations set out here. The first one we've got is the mill. And uh, this says, at this location, add two to your checks with the slashing trait. Well, that would definitely help me. I use all slashing weapons, I think. When closing, succeed a de dexterity or acrobatics eight check. Well, that's where I fail. I do not have good acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, we have the village house. And it says, at this location, when attempting to check a check to acquire an ally, you may instead recharge a card to automatically acquire that ally. Well, I... I like that. That's nice. When uh, closing, just banish a card from your hand. Uh, Carmen, you got the general store and Abe's sanitar sanitarium. We want to read those two. The general store says at this location, if you encounter anything other than an armor, a weapon, or an item, after the exploration, you may explore again. Uh, when closing, banish a card from your hand. Boy, I don't like those where you have to banish stuff. No. Uh, when permanently closed, add 1d6 random dice to this location without looking at them. Then automatically random acquire Random items. Yeah. Okay. And it will automatically acquire the top. Uh, Habe's Sanatorium. At the start of your turn, attempt a Wisdom 6 check. If you succeed, draw a random card from your discard pile. If you fail, discard the top Ooh. card of your deck. Yeah, let's avoid that place. Yee, and it's wisdom. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, when closing, succeeded a wisdom or perception 7 check. When permanently closed, you may shuffle 1d4 minus 1 random cards from your discard pile into your well, deck. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that one's nice. But yeah. uh, everything else about that location absolutely bites, uh, So I, I don't like any of these when closing. Mm. I, I'm kind of hoping the villain shows up in every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, here's what I'm thinking. Um, I like the village house uh, okay. or the general store. I'd like to start at one of these two. I don't want to go to the mill because there's no sense in me going to a place where I have to succeed at dexterity or acrobatics eight check. All right. Um, these two here I can pretty well handle. Um, I think that I would like to possibly just start at the village house. So, All right. I could go to the mill because I okay. can succeed at a dexterity check. So All right. Let's go there. So let's draw our hands up and let's see uh, what ends up happening here. So, All right. Good, good. I got, Ooh, I got Ooh, my wow. new weapon. I'm like <laughs> three weapons. Oh, okay. Then a half plate. I swear I shuffled this. Uh, so I got three weapons, a blessing, and my half plate. So I am very well equipped uh, to handle whatever I guess pops up. So, uh, okay. I will uh, defer to you. Do you wish to go first or second? All right. I'll go first. All right. Let me flip your blessing for you. And I can go ahead and get your card for you. Seems so good. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. You got the henchman right off the bat. Okay. All right, so. <clears throat> well, I kind let's of would this. like to explore the location. <laughs> well, it, All right. you never know. You may not make it. So uh, it does say before the encounter, examine the top card of the blessings discard pile. If the card is a blessing of the gods, the difficulty defeat piglet is increased by three. Nice. It is. So now he's <laughs> at combat 13. 
And it also says before or after the encounter, you may banish a weapon with the slashing trait to banish Piglet. It's Pidget. Or, <laughs> I said Piglet, didn't Call I? Piglet. I'm sorry. I watched too much Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> well, um, all right. Well, what are you going to do? Um, he's a combat 13, and uh, you could banish a card with the slashing trait, but I don't even think you have any with the slashing trait anyways, so. Nope. You have nope. piercing and you have bludgeon, but yeah. that's it. Yeah, so. okay. So I have to get a 13, huh? Yes, you All have to get right. a 13. We'll go with the heavy crossbow. <clears throat> heavy crossbow to the rescue. Love the heavy crossbow. I'm going to flip your uh, little stat card over for you. Hmm. I, I could go ahead and use my blessing. Why not? Well, I'm going to... Yeah. Have you paused there for a second on that, um, okay. if it's the same now? If you do that, you could. Now, is that for a combat dexterity? Discard um, this card to add two dice to a dexterity-based combat Okay, check. so you wouldn't be able to use it to close the location then, because it just says succeeded dexterity or acrobatics. It's not combat, so. Yeah, uh, I would definitely use it if I was you. Okay, so I get a D12, I get another D12, and I get another D12. Yes. Then I get a D10... And I, I don't know if you need to worry about recharging or not. I almost think it's almost overkill using that, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just what else am I going to use it for? I never end up using it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, let, if I don't use it, then I end up with... Three dice, one of them being a D6. By recharging, but you could yes. actually... Yeah, yeah, because, I mean... I would have to discard something else, like right. the mace, which I'm probably not going to use for anything. You know, you kept that mace from the last scenario yeah. and was all excited when I really probably could have been better at I didn't know it. you wanted it. <laughs> well, I thought I implied it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to go with... Just go ahead and do what you're doing. Um, so right. you're going to use the Blessing of Aristotle and your Heavy Crossbow. And that's well more than enough to defeat him. So, Piglet... <laughs> Piglet, uh, you have been destroyed. Um, so now we have to do the win closing, which is succeed at a dexterity or acrobatics eight check. Okay. Now um, your normal dexterity is a d12 with a plus two, and your acrobatics will add an additional two. So you yeah. really just have to roll a four with a d12. Now, if we wanted to do this, I could give you two more dice just to make sure that we are guaranteed we're going to close this thing down. I don't think that's worth using a blessing for. It. Are you sure about that? If you want to use your it blessing, is gonna guarantee then go that, for it. It's going to guarantee that we're going to close this location down. Unless I roll all once. Right? I'm going to use my blessing of Polistra, <laughs> and that'll give you 3d12s. Okay. Well, I think I got More it. More than enough. Okay. Now that will close this location down, so, well, there you go. Wow. Uh, right off the bat, one location down, that was... There was some good stuff. Magic chainmail armor and yeah. a battered chest, a scimitar. There was actually some pretty stuff. I knew there stuff. was stuff in there. Well, that's just how it goes. <laughs> um, all right, so I guess it get you know well job, well done. First first try and you close down a location. Don't forget to draw back up, huh? All right, so I will now start on mine. Oh, check that out. It is a scythe. Is that how you say that? Scythe with a plus one. So that means so it is definitely magic. Um, it is a strength melee 11. Okay, well, my my strength melee is uh, a d10 with a plus 5, so I'd have to roll a 6 with a d10 to be able to succeed. Hmm. Mind using that blessing of the gods, maybe? Hey, let's see what it does first before I we do that. Okay. It says here, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 2d4 plus 1. You may additionally discard this card to add another 1d4. If you aren't proficient with weapons, the difficulty of this check is increased by 4. Mm -hmm. If any d4s rolled on this weapon is a 4, count it as a 5. So, you know, I guess you're looking at, I would always probably roll 3d4s with a plus 1. Because I could always recharge it. Not near as powerful as I 
thought, but I mean, not bad either. I mean, but better the, than the weapons you already have because if it's not, then mm, there's no point. Trying to remember what all I have. I know it's not better my battle axe, not better my long sword. Uh, it's basically e equal to my icy long spears, basically what it is. Um, it is actually a little bit better than my uh, short sword, yeah. Yeah, because that only gives me one D... Well, actually, it gives me two D6s if I recharge, so... It's the equivalent of the short sword, basically. I don't know. So, is, do you want it that bad to where we should use a blessing for it, or is it I'm trying to remember like... what my other weapon is. I got the, uh... I know I got the great axe, but I can't remember what my and fifth weapon is. And I can always is. give you this flaming mace. Also. Okay, well, I'll just roll normal, then. And I got it anyways. How's that? <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so uh, let's see. It says, when attempting to check to acquire an ally... Nope. Okay. So, no no uh, ability to explore again. So, Carmen, it goes back over to you. And, uh, well, where are you going to go and kick butt now? Hmm. I guess I'll go to the general store, since this place is scary. Yeah, I wouldn't go there. So. All right. Caltrops. Cal Caltrops. Uh, yeah, your, dexterity 4. Your favorite place. Not excited. So, you just need to roll a 2. Eh, actually, it could come in handy. Who knows? And you did get them. Okay. Yay. So that will give you too many items currently in your hand. So do you want to just explore again by any chance? Or what do you want to do? Do we really want to discard a blessing to explore again? I don't know. That's up to you. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say... You, uh, oh, wait. If you encounter anything other than an armor, an item, or a weapon, after the exploration you may explore again. Okay. Well, you did encounter an item, so... Okay, well, the caltrops are really useless for me, so okay. I'm just going to discard them. And then are you finished? Yeah. Okay. A sage. Um, okay, so she is a Wisdom 7 or a Charisma Diplomacy 6. So I'll, I will do the Charisma Diplomacy, which my Charisma Diplomacy is a D6 plus 2. And I did not acquire her. I could not... Well, we could have used her for a Wisdom check. Okay, well, I didn't acquire her. She didn't like me. What do you want me to do about this? I, I was thinking about using a blessing. Oh, you. now you're willing to use a blessing. <laughs> on a, on, on we this, have to pass a wisdom check. You realize she's a basic sage. Well, you didn't speak fast enough. I'm sorry. I, I, I over Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? When attempting a check to acquire an ally, you may... Instead, recharge, recharge a, card. a card. Oh, I should have paid attention to that. And you know what? I could have... I, I, I am going to mulligan that because... Given the fact I can recharge, I don't need all these weapons. I would have definitely done that. So there's no doubts at all. I'm going to recharge the short sword, and I am going to acquire this ally. So, Yay! Okay. Well, now I, you can I'm, go over here. Yeah. In this scary yeah. Place. Okay, now okay. I am going to flip your card. So I'm sure everybody's okay with that. That's my own fault for not reading the cards. Okay. So. Eyes of the Eagle. All right, so once again, you have encountered an item. Um... All right, so it says a Wisdom Perception 5. My Wisdom is a D6. My Perception is a plus 2. All right, so you need to roll a 3 with a D6. And you did. Okay, so what does this thing do? Reveal this card to add 1 D6 to your Perception check. Recharge this card to succeed at your Perception check. Okay, well, all right, if we run into a Perception well, check. Problem is you got too much stuff again, don't um, you? You know what? They could help with this too, so... Okay, you gonna go explore ahead again? And explore again. Ah, there you go. A right. guide. A guide. So you need to do a wisdom survival seven or a charisma diplomacy six. Okay, my charisma is a six and my wisdom is a six. So what, whichever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go for the charisma diplomacy six. And you got a four. Failed. Okay, so... Wee, 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 wee. Okay, and uh, you all finished up? Yes. Okay. Well, that's a new blessing. Oh, no. A skeleton horde. All right, well, it does say down at the bottom, each character at an open location summons and encounters an ancient skeleton henchman. Then banish this card. So we're going to banish that skeleton horde. Let's get our skeleton henchman out. I haven't seen them in a while. Good thing you held on to that flaming mace bludgeon weapon. That actually is going to well, help you here. I think I can just evade it, can't I? Yeah, yeah, and then it just gets... I, I won't even pull yours out if I can even find them. I know they're henchmen, right? Goodness. There we are. Henchmen there on we the go. card? Yeah. All right. 
Okay, so yours, uh, you're going to just evade it and uh, wiggle, wiggle, waggle. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, juke that thing out of its shorts. Okay, so um, he is just a combat eight. Um, all right, so I will have this. Okay, so it does say if your check to defeat the skeleton has the slashing or piercing trait, the difficulty to defeat the skeleton is increased by three. So he will be an 11 instead of an eight. Oh, no. All right, well, um, hey, let's put this sieve to uh, good work here. So, um, it does have a, a plus one, and uh, it will give me a D4, three D4s actually, because I am going to recharge it, and uh, then it gives me the plus one. And then I normally have a D10 for my strength that I'm going to use, and I also have a plus five on that. So I've got a total plus six, so I just need to roll a five with these, uh, well, it'll be four yeah. dice. So, okay, he's dead. All right, so we'll send you back. Back to the hell you came from, Ancient Skeleton. Alright, so uh, that will be the end of that. So I will draw back up, and Carmen, it is Jelten. Ooh, mace. an exciting mace. My goodness, we ain't seen those. Strength melee 4. My strength is a d8. Boy, I hope you get that mace. That's exciting stuff. Mm-hmm, boy. And you almost, I got it! Did you actually get Yes, you did, didn't you? Yay! <laughs> well, I guess that goes into the discard pile. Oh, so exciting! <laughs> okay, so are you all finished up? Yes. Uh, okay. That was an exciting turn, too, huh? Okay. Well, how do you even... A, a, a Kyrian Storm? And uh, this is new. We haven't seen these before. These are actually undead swarm elite birds. Wow, and they're not the easiest thing to fight. Okay, so it says the Carrion Storm is immune to the mental and poison traits. If undefeated, return the Carrion Storm to the top of this location. So they're just going to keep picking my eyeballs out if I don't get rid of these things. Okay, so, um, all right, uh, I will use my strength, which is a D10, plus 5. So I will need to, at this stage, roll a 7 with this D10, but we can obviously work on that a little bit. Um, I'm going to use my Icy Long Spear, which will give me a D8. And uh, with a plus one, so I will need to just roll a six with these two dice. Okay, and I did accomplish that. So the Carrion Storm, I have destroyed. Uh, you know, picked their eyeballs out is what I did. And uh, I will keep my Icy Long Spear in my arsenal. So, Carmen, it is your turn again. Okay. <clears throat> Dickwood Boar. Hey, fought him last time. We had bacon, remember? Mm. Let's make some more bacon. <laughs> Making bacon pancakes. Before the encounter succeeded, a Wisdom or Survival 7 check, or the difficulty to defeat the Tickwood Boars increased by 2. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, I couldn't even pass couldn't that couldn't even anyway. do that. I don't All know right. what you were thinking. So okay. he's a 10. <laughs> yeah, he will be a 10. So heavy crossbow time. And uh, don't forget, you can recharge a card. Get yourself another D6 if you want. And uh, you will get to explore after this again. So... Be careful, because you didn't uh, get an item or a weapon or an armor. Okay. <clears throat> All right, get him, hun. So you need to get a 10. And you just did do it. Uh, oh, very well, good. I uh, oh, you have your two, plus two so as well. I had to get okay, an eight. so you just had to get an eight. Very good. Okay, okay, so he has been defeated, and now you get to explore again. Uh, Wand of Shield. Okay, um, I really don't. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so an Intelligence Arcane 7, so we might as well just put that over here in the pile. <laughs> Carmen ain't going to get that, but we ain't I smart have, enough. I have a D4 for my Intelligence. <laughs> okay, you all finished up then? Yes. Okay. All right, so uh, just a normal blessing of the gods. All right, so I Detect Magic. This is an Intelligence Arcane Wisdom Divine 2. Uh, my Intelligence is a D6, so yeah, we'll see if I get it. And I did. Ooh, All right, so fighting. this says uh, discard this card to examine the top of your location deck if the card is a blessing or has the magic trait. You may immediately encounter it, otherwise return it to the top of the deck. Well, let's just go ahead and use it now. So we'll just discard it. And it it was a blessing. So uh, I actually acquired that then, right? If uh, the card is a blessing and has the magic trait, you may me immediately encounter it. Well, it's a blessing of the gods. And with blessings of the gods, you just immediately acquire them. So... That's cool. That's huh. I don't. That is really cool. Um, well, here's the thing, though. That'll give me too many things in my okay. hand, so I'm just gonna use this immediately, 
and uh, let's flip over and explore again. Okay, an Alkalite. So if I wanted to, I could banish a card, or uh, I'm sorry, recharge a card to acquire her, but she's really just deals with magic and uh, and arcane and divine. Uh, I don't think that's going to help us at all. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to roll a d6 and see. And I got her. <laughs> okay. So, um, unfortunately, I, I don't have any use for this card at all, so I'm just going to put her over here. Can you discard her to explore again? Unfortunately, no. no. And that's what I was hoping, is yeah. I could do that. Um, but she's pretty, so we'll just put her there on top <laughs> of the discard pile, and uh, we'll let her sit there. So, Carmen, it is your turn again. Oh, an Elven, Elven breastplate. breastplate. Beautiful. Exciting. Hey, can you hold heavy armors? No. No, but... I know somebody who can hold heavy armor. Do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, but that's a constitution fortitude seven. What's your constitution? D6. Oh, not cool, not cool. Oh, man, I wish I was over there. Um, I mean, I've got my blessing of Torog mm -hmm. I could help, and, and that way you could roll two. I roll two D6s. But you'd still have to get a seven with that. That's not very good odds. Okay, well, you reveal the card to reduce combat damage by two. Banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. If you are proficient with heavy armors, bury the card instead. Okay? Oh, but you actually, uh, if you are proficient with heavy armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Um, so, that's kind of cool. I, I don't know. I think we should... You... you <laughs> You reduce combat damage by two. You don't have any other armors that do. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, this one actually reduces combat dealt to you by three, actually. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. I ain't all that worried about it, personally. I mean, it's kind of cool, but is it that cool to waste a blessing on at the moment? Uh, I don't know if it'd be wasted. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I am going to do this, and I will see if you can get the me the elven breastplate. And if you fail, I will remind you at the end of this video that you fail. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. No. You, you, you failed! I failed! Looking at this card closer, yeah, that actually would have been better than my other armors that I have because you actually just have to reveal this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by two, whereas the other ones I have to recharge. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I saw the five and thought, well, there's no way that I did that I failed. But yeah, the other one was a one. Okay. So okay. I have found the next henchman. This is Doctor Habe. Um, okay. Well, he actually goes with Habe's Sanatorium, doesn't he? Okay. So it says here that before the encounter, examine this location deck until you find a bane. Encounter it, then shuffle Doctor Abe into this location deck. If there are no banes in the deck, shuffle it. Doctor Abe is defeated. Really? So, I, okay, all right, well, I like that, all right, so, I look for a Bane. Yeah. Um, no, no. So, let me make sure I read this correct then. Then shuffle, okay, before you counter, examine this location deck until you find a Bane. Encounter it, then shuffle Dr. Abe into this location deck. If there are no Banes in the deck, shuffle it, and he's just defeated. So, if defeated, you may immediately attempt to close this location. Then you you may then examine the top three cards of this location deck. Well, I don't know why I'm examining it. Okay. Um, so, well, he's defeated then, obviously. Yeah. All right. Um, so, then now all I need to do is banish a card uh, from my hand. I don't think you want to banish a card from your hand. The only thing I'd banish is her. And, uh, truthfully, I... I okay. I, mean, I know, I know. But you can also go through two more cards, and then, a, then you're And then that maybe location. just try to get the first one of these cards, and then I could use one of them to banish, like this archer or something. You want me? You think that'd be a good idea? I'm just thinking. Okay. We don't why really don't, want to banish what's in your hand. Why don't I do that? I'll try to acquire one of these, and then, uh, well, I'd have to go through both of them though, and then I'd have to banish. And who knows? You may run into a villain for all we know, and then I may have to banish another one anyways. I think I should just banish. Okay. Let's just close it down. All right. So da, da, that's da, it. Two locations down. I, I just I think that if you did encounter the villain, I'm gonna end up having to banish something out of my hand anyways. You understand what I'm saying? There's your card. You're up. <clears throat> what are you doing? 
Looking at the locations. <laughs> well, I would stay there in the general store, dear. Because I've got this for a perception check. Uh, I just stayed there. I'll probably join. Uh, I was just talking about that. <laughs> oh my God, Carmen, it's the villain. Yeah, it's a good I was thing. just talking it's a about good thing that. You closed that day. I would have had to have still banished and then banished a second one on top of that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's get down to it. Now this is a uh, Kaisuro Zeran. Okay, and it says here that before the encounter, each character at this location must summon and encounter a zombie minion henchman. All right, so here is a zombie minion henchman that you, I believe, now can evade. And I'll put it back now. Okay, and now it says, um, which, let me check that. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 it says here, now let's keep in mind. When you defeat a zombie henchman from a location deck, well, he wasn't from a location, he was summoned. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we did that correctly. So, okay, okay so let's do this again. Um... When you attempt a check to defeat Kalazuru, Kalazuru, Kaisarlu Zarin. I wish you would just say these After names. After you make the roll, roll <laughs> 1d6 on a 1 or 2, start the check over. Cards played on the previous check do not affect the new... Oh, come on. That, that's a little forced. All damage dealt by <sighs> Kaisarlu Zarin is Poison damage. Yeah, so you don't... Okay, you're this in trouble. This guy is big okay. trouble. All right. Well, here's the good things, all right? Let's let's start with the positives. The positives are you are by yourself. You have your heavy crossbow. I have a blessing. You have a blessing. So we're going to have to do these things in somewhat uh, semi-order, okay? And what I mean by that is, is that we can't both use the blessings the first time because you may end up rolling a one or two and then our blessings just go away. Okay, well, I've got this that I can recharge, or I can discard and get two D6s. I would uh, recommend that you get two D6s by uh, discarding your Masterwork Tools. I agree 100% with that. Okay. And uh, then you have your D12. And my D10 and for my D10. heavy crossbow. Okay, now, I would strongly suggest that I use my Blessing of the Gods. I'm trying to get a 14. Yes. And if you use your Blessing now and I roll a 1... Then he. Then it, That's why you have your blessing. You're you're going to save for the next attempt. Okay, do you understand? Um. Okay. The, it could happen. I know. Okay. So eight, nineteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, he's he's defeated. All right. Now you have to roll a. Is it a d six? Uh huh. Do not roll a one or a two, please. Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Don't. Okay, so you got to start over again. All right. Now. Uh, okay. Use the heavy crossbow again. I I'm gonna go ahead and discard this dude. Okay. So That's I get your two, two d sixes, sixes again. A d12 and a d10. Yes. This is this is a total of what a, a twenty. 22 uh, plus 12, that, that, that's a total of 34. Am I correct? And I have to get a 12. 24, 34, yes. I think you could get it with this. Um, why is it when I use blessings, you always fail? I've got a blessing, but I just don't... Let, let's hold on it. I agree this time. Because then I don't discard it. I another. agree this okay. time. Okay, come on, hon. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. And then you had your plus two. So, so you got him again. Okay. Now roll your d6 again. And can you stop destroying the whole deck? Don't roll a one. 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 Yeah! Okay. Bye. All right. So this time he has been officially defeated. Okay. Yes. So that means uh, we are going to send him to that location. You're going to shuffle that location up. And uh, let's read what it says here on our location. It says... um. On closing, add one D6 random items to this location. I'll let you roll that if you like. Then automatically acquire that top card. So if you want, I'll roll that for you. And you get two items that will be added to this location. And I get and the you top acquire... one. Oh, it's... <laughs> Caltrops. <laughs> the best item ever for Maricel because they're so helpful. <laughs> so, so helpful. That is so funny. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> Hate these stupid caltrops. All right, oh, we're all man. shuffled. So okay. go, go over there and kick so, some butt. Actually, I think I'm going to come to your location and, uh, oops, let me uh, flip mine. I'm going to come to your location and You're I am going get to. get that item, huh? Yeah. Now, do I just automatically acquire it or do I have to actually do the check? You have to it's, do the uh, check. It's an intelligence craft four. Uh, my intelligence is a D6, so, and I did fail, but, uh, I thought I'd check it out, see what it was. Might well, as well, you know what's good? I can discard these and get two D6s, <laughs> so that's what's good. <laughs> okay, now it's back in your, your park, and, uh, <laughs> right. let's see what you do here. We know where he's at, he's got nowhere to run now, so, hey, cool, who's that? Maester Grump. <laughs> Master, my Maester Grump, <laughs> Okay, so he is a Crimson of Diplomacy 7 or a Wisdom Divine 8. Uh, and it says, banish this card to examine your location deck until you find a bane. Shuffle the deck and put that card on top. Well, okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. It's a great way to cipher through the deck, see if you can mm. find the uh, villain. Um, so he is a Crimson of Diplomacy 7, which I don't believe you can even nope. accept. Um, that kind of stinks, but you did forget to do one thing, and we're going to have to take a step back real quick okay. and do that. It does say here at this location... At the start of your turn, attempt a Wisdom 6 check. If you succeed, draw a random card from your deck or discard pile. If you fail, discard the top card of your deck. Um, what is your Wisdom? It is a D6. D6. So you will have to roll a 6 with a D6. If you fail, you are discarding the top card of your deck. And you succeeded! Ah! Congratulations. Okay. If I succeed... And you get your card. You will gain the top card of your deck. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, randomly... Draw, draw a random a card random from your discard card pile. From my discard pile, and I put it. I put it uh, in my hand. Yeah, it says draw it. So, so if you succeed, draw a random card from your discard pile. It doesn't say recharge okay. or anything. So, uh, well, you flip it up, right? Oh. <laughs> Caltrips 2.0. Okay, they this. are so this, helpful. This is really great. I love this. Okay, so right. uh, Charisma Diplomacy Seven. You cannot even. I don't think you can max. You can't get that, can you? No. Okay, so he's just gonna go away. Time Master Grump! Okay, so I will... Right, so I guess I'll just discard my caltrips. You can explore again with your blessing of Torog. Yeah... Might I as well. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna... What are you putting out oh, there, dear? Oh, sorry, there I don't go. know. I was paying... I was looking up at what you were doing. And there we go! Okay! <laughs> so it's him again, and if we succeed here, uh, we win. Okay, so I have no blessings or anything to help you with, but I do have some, um, like, <sighs> okay. come on, Carmen, I know you can do it. So I'm the only person at the location, so I would just evade the zombie you minion. You evaded the zombie minion, so don't All worry right. about that. let's see. Um, I'm looking at my returning throwing axe to see if it's any better than my crossbow. I, 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 I think that you've been doing so good with your heavy crossbow that let's not mess this up, dude. Okay. Throw your caltrips at him. <laughs> I will. I'll discard them and get two d6s. I, How's I, that? I agree with this. <laughs> I, I approve of this message. There's your d10, and there's your d12. And uh, get him, babe. You need to get a 12 with all those. You can do this. Okay. okay. Well, you got more than enough. That's like a bazillion. And uh, now it comes... Don't roll, roll a one, one, don't roll a one, one, don't roll a one, don't roll a one, don't roll a one. Yeah! yeah! You rock and roll, baby. Okay, so this has been a uh, defeat. Woo! Okay, so we was able to defeat... Kaiser Luzerin. Yes, do not ever have me say that name. I will never, ever, ever <laughs> get it right. Um, hey, you know what? A couple of things I want to talk about this. Um, number one, uh, well, actually, i got several things. But number one... Um, I didn't care for this minion. I felt that, or hit this minion, this villain. I yeah. felt like his, oh, you know, roll a die and see if you roll a one or two. Oh, well, guess what? You got to do it all over again. That felt very forced to me. I really wish that they would have set it up that, you, you know, if you encountered him and you didn't have, like, a blessing in hand, possibly then you'd have to, you know, fight him again. I don't know. You tell me not to roll a one. You know what's going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> yeah, one. <laughs> one. One, one, one. <laughs> But I, I didn't care for that aspect of it. I don't know the way you felt about it. We didn't really talk about it. so. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I thought it made him tougher to defeat, and I just thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we see it. I mean, I guess it's cool, <laughs> but I just feel like it's still too too random in a game that's already got enough randomness. Yeah, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking for more.
more toughness because it seems like I do agree with that. going around just kicking everything's butt, and so it's kind of nice when something's a little harder. I can't agree with that yeah. aspect. I mean, Mersel is like on fire. <laughs> okay. um, uh, another thing, um, because it was just the two of us, the zombie minions never came into play. And that just seems kind of strange to me. Yeah. Why would they not have made sure that the zombie minions were incorporated, no matter how many players were being, you know, playing this scenario? Um, we only encountered one, and that's when it was summoned, but you was able to just, you yeah. know, ignore it and, I, and evade it. So it, it just seems like that seemed kind of silly, too, in no sense. I could have just, you know, purposely not evaded it, but, uh, you know, well, if what's you the can, purpose you of do, that? You know, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, another thing to talk about is that each of us get to check off a power feat. I think it's going to be pretty obvious what we do here. There's not much to choose from. No, not a lot. Um, for me, um, you're going to look at that I could either increase my hand size to six or possibly be able to... Um, uh, whenever somebody's at my same location, they'll get a D4 and then a plus one. I think that I'm going to go for that one, but you guys let me know. And then for you? Yeah, and then mine's, you know, hand size to six, which I, I feel like that's not really going to benefit me now that I have an extra weapon. Maybe before it would have made it more likely that I'd get a weapon, so I might have done that. But now, I don't see a point to it. I think you, you know, you, we always make sure that you try to fight alone, so it seems to me like it only makes sense that you just try to, Yeah, the, know, the other power feat is, is when I uh, use the card to get a d6 it's going to let me get a d6 plus one exactly so that's exactly. i mean plus one is pretty cool <laughs> yeah it is because yeah. it's going to uh, stack with your other plus ones right. as well so okay um so that's pretty much it i guess just stay after the credits uh hey let us know what you thought of the new title that was pretty fun to do mm -hmm. and that was all thanks to one of the viewers who suggested that we should try to add a little flavor and read what the uh scenarios are before we just jump right into them so there you go we did it and um yeah, I guess just stay after the credits and see which cards we carry over. I can't think of anything else. You? Nope. I All right. covered it. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, so let's see what we're carrying over. Uh, let's start with weapons. Uh, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. I can only carry five. Uh, so I'm going to have to get rid of one. I'm definitely keeping the Great Axe. I'm keeping the Long Sword. I'm keeping the Icy Long Spear. Uh, whew, well, from there... Uh, okay, you keeping that Flaming Mace? I don't need to keep it, so... What else are you going to end up using, though? Because you checkmarked off weapons, and that's going to leave you with that. You know what you could do, actually? I think you should have just gotten a basic one out of the box uh, that mm -hmm. you should have been using anyways. Uh, instead of carrying that over, you should have given that to me, but we, we didn't discuss that. Um, yeah, you, I didn't. I had no clue you even wanted that, so. Well, I don't know if I really want it even now, so. Um, okay, well, I think that I will keep, let me see, i got my three. I'll just keep these two. Why don't you just hang on to it for now? I might as well, and I'll get rid of this scimitar. Okay. I'll get rid of this regular mace because I'm a flaming mace. It's so much better. <laughs> so I'll keep my three weapons. Okay, next thing down are spells. No spells. <laughs> next is our armors. I have my three armors already. I have one armor. I would have had an armor from you, but you decided to whiff on that. <laughs> <laughs> and I roll a one. <laughs> hey, you made up for it by whooping up on that dude twice, though. Um, items. I can keep two I have my two, my thieves tool, my potion energy resistance. I can keep six. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus my caltrips, which of course will go away because they're <laughs> useless. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to decide if I'm going to keep these eyes of the eagle. Um, they add 1d6 to your perception check. I think that's kind of nice. I think I that is pretty would cool. like to keep that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? The spyglass adds 1d6 to my perception check as well. Hmm. Yeah, both of those are pretty good, aren't <laughs> they? That's tough. Um, well, the staff of mine are healing. Um, I think it kind of stinks, to be honest with you. It's like you're keeping that card to just try to get a card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'd get rid that's of what that. I was thinking about getting rid of. Okay, so... If you get rid of that, that's going to... Or two, three, if four, you five. wanted one of these. Nope, nope, nope. I'm, I'm fine with what I got. I okay. Think, I think that's awesome. I think your character is really getting to be awesome. Really. So I got my holy uh, candle. Okay, so All allies. Right. Um, I can keep two, so I'll get rid of the alkali. I'll keep these two. and I, I can keep two, and I have two. All okay. Right. And blessings, I can keep four now. 
And I'll keep my Torog, my Callista, and two generics. So. And I have four. So there you all go. Right. There we are. We're all set up. Ready to go.